Let's talk a bit about memory management in a basic environment and in a super basic environment specifically. When your F-256 uh, Junior or K boots um, and turns on, you'll see the welcome screen as we discussed earlier and you're uh, presented with a, a full screen um, editor. And you're free to load programs, save programs, uh, create programs. And of course they occupy memory as does Super Basic itself. And each one of those owns a particular segment of memory. Um, so this is uh, what I'd like to walk you through at this point. Uh, starting with Super Basic itself, uh, the code is about 32K in size. However, it's stored in flash and um, there is working storage, but uh, the code itself is, is, is managed and banked in and out as needed in a 16K footprint between 8,000 hex and BFFF hex, which is uh, 4,000 hex or um, what's that about uh, 16K of memory. The, the second segment is the area for your own program space, which are the basic language commands and expressions that you create as part of your program. And those are tokened, tokenized, I should say. So the tokens are stored there. Um, and this is area between 2000 and 7FFF. So right up to the 8K um, or 8000 hex address where the super basic code itself begins. Um, and that is uh, about 24K, yeah, 24K. Finally, there's the space for uh, data. And this data spec segment is where your variables are stored, your uh, constants are stored, um, any arrays that you might use are stored. And uh, this is a uh, 1000 hex area or 4K in size. And Super Basic, of course, manages this all for you. You're not allocating memory and storing things there in linked lists or anything of, the, of that sort. Um, but add that together and you've got, what, like 44, 44K. And add the 16K space for the kernel to that and you get right up against the edge of memory, leaving you only 4K. And that 4K is below kind of watermark. And that includes some working space for Super Basic itself. Uh, the kernel uses some space there. The 6502 stack is there. Uh, the zero page area is there. Um, so your, your machine is, um, is, 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 you could say, fully utilized. Um, so that's, I guess, the bad news. But it's really not bad news at all. In fact, it's good news. Because the um, super basic code itself is, is heavily optimized. And in fact, the next section, which if you check the manual for super basic, um, is I guess referred to as other, the well, yeah, memory usage elsewhere, is the is the uh, is is what Paul calls this section. It's section one point four of his manual, upper memory or uh, pages above the sixty four k um, addressable address space that a six five zero two would normally see, are used for for graphic assets. So the screen is there, and in fact the screen is one of the largest or or, or heaviest consumer of memory. Um, and I believe that BASIC uses the 320 by 240 um, screen. So the dimensions are um, above 64K just by itself. So you're talking about um, one byte per pixel, considering the depth of the color. And that uh, appears at what you can call 10,000, or you can say the first segment um, or second segment starting from zero of 64K um, from a address of address perspective, in decimal, this would be 65,536, um, which is pretty far up there. But picture that space approximately, quite a bit larger than, but approximately 64K. Um, the next area, Paul details at 24,000, if you want to call it that, and that's for tile map data. Uh, he doesn't detail how much space is used there, but I'll at least write down here tile map. Um, followed by the actual data, the image data for tiles themselves. Followed by at 28,000, uh, checking my chart here, 28,000. Yes, that's the cross development area. So mm -hmm. um, there's a provision to develop off platform and push your code into the machine. So consider it a working space or a housekeeping space where Super Basic can um, take code, which is ASCII, um, with line numbers applied to it, and tokenize that down into the lower memory. So that's kind of a working space, again, well above 
the normal 64K working space. And then finally, um, at, the, at the very top of that, at 30,000, is uh, sprite space. So this is the space to hold the actual sprite images themselves. And the amount of space used here will depend um, based on the size of the sprites the, and the amount of sprites used. So considering that one large footprint of memory is used for the for the 320 by 240 graphical bitmap screen itself and several other segments set aside for things like tile maps, tiles, uh, cross development if you leverage that and sprites, you're really using almost no space in lower memory with the exception of any kind of telemetry information or metadata to point to this data for your basic program. So that in itself uh, leaves quite a bit of available space. Put in the terms of the Apple II, which you know came with 48K or, or less, upwards of 64K. You know that bitmap screen uh, was 8K, and it it, it it was fixed usually at the 2K um, um, address space, and uh, you could have two of those buffers, and that could occupy as much as as a quarter of physical memory. Um, so so here we are placing all these assets, including full color, well up and above the use of of the, the first 64K of memory. In a future video, I'll discuss the memory management unit, the MMU, and uh, how simple it is to move pages or rather segments of memory in and out. I have a, um, a graphic example that leverages um, a bitmap screen and a series of sprites and pages in the order of thousands per second. And it, it's, uh, it's quite impressive in terms of the capabilities of the machine. So I'll stop here for, for this section. But uh, hopefully this somewhat detailed dive gives you a bit more information about the way that Super Basic deals with memory and, and the fact that it goes to great lengths to, to compartmentalize types of data in areas uh, to optimize the, the, the platform resources.